guys enjoyed the air show so far? It's a little early, huh? Okay, well everybody come up, come on, gather in as close as you can so you can get a nice view of the robot. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Air Venture 2014 and today's introduction of the newest awesome, Honda's innovative and state-of-the-art humanoid robot. My name is Alex Kalis, and on behalf of Honda, I'd like to welcome you to this very special demonstration of Honda's humanoid robot, Awesome Out. As many of you know, Honda started work on its robotics program in 1986. <laughs> the new Awesome is the latest in a long line of Honda's humanoid robots and represents the pinnacle of what we've been able to achieve to date. Awesome was introduced in 2000 with the dream of helping people live fuller lives, assisting with duties around the home, and other daily tasks. Our dream is to provide a robot that can provide company and physical care to family members and assistance with housework, a robot that is indispensable for an enriched life. Osmo is part of a larger line of Honda robotics offerings that are all designed to achieve a similar goal. Products such as the Walk Assist device and the Unicub were built to help those with limited mobility to be more independent, just as Osmo is designed to promote independence within the home. The Walk Assist device is currently undergoing clinical trials at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, while the Unicub is also being tested in Japan to determine its suitability for public use. So as you can see, Honda is committed to improving people's lives and creating a society where mobility comes in many different forms. To get things started, we prepared a short video to give you an overview of Honda's work on Awesome Home. So let's get started. Since the very beginning, Honda has turned dreams into realities. From our motorcycles, to cars, engines, to jets, and beyond. We help people move in ways that were once unimagined. We have a passion for mobility. In 1986, that passion led Honda to undertake a challenge straight out of science fiction to build a humanoid robot that might one day help people move with them and improve their lives. Making this dream a reality took decades and tested the skill of the world's most capable engineers. Their first hurdle was to build a machine that can walk on two legs, a process that we humans take for granted, and Honda thoroughly researched. The initial prototype took deliberate, flat-footed steps. Each took 15 seconds. Later prototypes had a more natural gait, then walked dynamically falling forward between steps, as humans do. A bright balance took several more years to perfect. Then, in 1992, Honda achieved a milestone. Prototype E6 not only walked in a straight line without support, but was able to climb stairs. So Honda's engineers advanced to the next level of development, adding a torso, head, arms, and hands. The first humanoid robot Honda showed to the public was self-contained and walked under remote control. It stood nearly six feet tall and weighed over 450 pounds. The next version in 1997 was lighter and more compact to better interact with people on a more human scale. As the new millennium approached, rapid advances in computers, hydraulics, and microcircuitry brought science fiction another step closer to science fact. And Honda greeted the world with a more approachable, friendlier robot it called Advanced Step in innovative mobility. The first Osimo. In the next seven years, Osimo's movements will be found to handle complex environments and perform new tasks. Its size was reduced further to accommodate human living spaces. And today, 
Three decades since Honda engineers first accepted the challenge, Osimo has a host of advanced physical and intelligence capabilities. Osimo is now an autonomous robot that not only runs, jumps, spins around, and anticipates people's movements, but can manipulate objects and distinguish people by their voice and their face. That's cool. As development continues, Osimo is a fountain of innovative mobility ideas that go far beyond its original design and much closer to practical reality. Osimo, a dream Honda realized one step after another, that someday soon, robots will coexist with people, move for those who can, work in difficult situations, and be the eyes and ears, hands and legs of people who need help in their everyday lives. Introducing the newest in Honda's advanced step in innovative mobility, Osimo. system and applied mechanisms that are all newly designed. Engineering innovations regarding flexibility and balance control have increased Osmo's agility both in the upper and lower body. Stability control that was first introduced as a key part of making Osmo, make, uh, making Osmo walk autonomously has seen continuous innovation and has taken another big step forward with this new model. Osmo, are you ready to climb the stairs? I am ready. Okay, go for it. Now, some of you may have seen Osmo climb the stairs at its Disneyland exhibit, or maybe even here, right here last year. But the latest version of the robot can ascend and descend the stairs much more smoothly, without even having to stop at the bottom of the stairs. All right, Osmo. some vital new technology in Osimo's manual dexterity. Come over, Osimo. To begin with, significant changes have been made to the technology in Osimo's hands. With the new premium Osimo, in order to operate five fingers independently, the degrees of freedom at the hand have been increased from 2 to 13 for each hand, resulting in 57 for the entire body, which is a big increase over the 34 degrees of freedom in the previous version. Before, Osmo could walk, but would then need to stop briefly before starting to run. Now, Osmo can move seamlessly from walking to running, and can run at two different speeds, as we'll see today. Innovations in mobility took place over many editions of Osmo, and Honda engineers conducted extensive studies of the human walking motion to determine the best way for Osmo to walk. Eventually, in a groundbreaking innovation, Osmo was able to run. But today, what Osimo does best is walking and navigating our world with ease. In fact, due to innovation and advances in technology and engineering, Osimo can also run. But more about that later. Osimo can sidestep continuously, on a curve, <laughs> or in a straight line, which could be very useful in getting through tight spaces in a home environment. Osmo can move forward or backward as well, constantly adjusting its center of gravity with every step that it takes, just like humans. Now previously, Osmo could run at 5 kilometers per hour. I'm just going to get out of Osmo's way for a second here, okay? Alright Osmo, are you ready to show us a run?
I am ready. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go! All right, Osmo. And further innovation and advances in technology and engineering have enabled the new Osmo to run even faster, up to nine kilometers per hour, which is the equivalent of a fast jog for a human. At that pace, Osmo could run a mile in about 11 minutes. Osmo, are you ready to run again? This time even faster? I am ready. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Nicely done, Osmo. In order for Osmo to run, it had to be able to repeat the movements of pushing off the ground, swinging its legs forward, and landing within a short time cycle without any delay, absorbing the instantaneous impact of landing. Osmo's step cycle is 0.32 seconds, and its sleep time is 0.08 seconds, equivalent again to a person jogging. This led to further developments in lead time, allowing Osmo to hop. Hopping on both feet is a major advancement, and Osmo has been further enabled to hop on one foot as well. Osmo's running speed has been increased, and its balance has been enhanced for both climbing and hopping. A key part of those improvements are in controlling and adapting to the reactive force of the ground when walking or hopping. kick a ball this strongly is a direct result of its improved running speed. In addition, it can now maintain its balance against the reaction force from kicking the ball. Osmo, are you ready for a game of soccer? Yes, I am ready. Okay, let's show everybody what you've got. interacts with people in a household setting and helps with common chores and tasks. We mentioned the increase in um, Osmo's fingers here, the degrees of freedom, allowing for greater flexibility and usage, but Osmo also has greater sensitivity in the fingers, allowing it to perform more delicate tasks. As you can see on the screens, Osmo can tell the difference between a bottle and a paper cup by using its force sensor. It will apply the proper force to either object making sure not to use too much force and crush the paper cup. Another gigantic advancement is in the area of communication. For Honda to achieve the ultimate goal of Osmo being used in a home base setting to help people, communication has been a critical part of Osmo's development. <laughs> Since 2002, Osmo has been able to verbally communicate with others. That's right. And now, in a major enhancement to the new Osmo, it can speak in American and Japanese sign language, making greater use of the increased degrees of freedom in the hands that we mentioned earlier. And now this concludes the technical part of our presentation. Now I'd like to share with you something else. Osmo is also about fun and interaction with humans. That's why Osmo can also dance. This is an example of the fluidity of Osmo's motion and movements. Osmo, are you ready to show everybody what you can do? I will be glad to. <laughs> okay then, Osmo. Hit it! Osmo 
was a good dancer, but I think that Osmo needs a beat. Can we help him out a little bit?